Hello everybody, back with another video. Today is Wednesday, July 14th, 1.02 p.m. And today we are going out to the garden because I don't know if you're friends with me on Facebook. Uh, you know that I found a video where a kid my age, well actually a little bit older because that video is already a year old, um, bought a bus. And now I really want to do that, you know. I wouldn't drive it, you know, for my everyday car. But I'd have it out there, you know. I was thinking about, you know, <laughs> maybe putting it here or even out way out there by the garden. That'd be kind of cool. But then, how them are so tall, it just might reach the, you know. Well, I guess we can trim some trees. I'd love it to sit here, but Dad would hate it. <laughs> um, and I was thinking about, you know, an old bus, let's say, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, 3800. That's what, probably three to five grand, maybe? I don't know. They're all different. You know, you know, kind of like see how the wood is there in the boat, and, you know. I think that'd be cool to have it, you know, sit there. You know, I drive it every once in a while. What they call to get the bugs out, you know. I wouldn't drive it every day, but I drive it, you know. Like in the summertime, sometimes we'll just take a drive and drive around and get an ice cream or something. Listen to music, stuff like that. We could do that with a bus like that. I'd have it, you know, sit right here. It, I, you know, it'd be a few years down the road, but, like, I think I have, I actually don't really know how much I have right now for money, but, you know, it's it right here. Dad love it because he wa always wants to block off the neighbors, which, I mean, I don't see a problem with the neighbors, but that's him, I guess. And I'd love to get one, you know, I wouldn't turn it into an RV. I wouldn't do anything like that. I would keep all the seats in it. I know he probably doesn't watch my videos, but you know that Noah guy, bus boy, 501, he's 21 and he owns three of them. An Amtram, a 2000 Amtram, RE, uh, 95, Wayne Lifeguard, 3800, both, both the T444E, and then he has a new one, 50, that he just made for 7,000 subscribers. But I don't think he watches my videos, so, yeah. I mean, if you do, hi! <laughs> but I mean, you know me. But that kid that did buy one, he turned it into an RV. But he he bought he bought it from uh, making money from making YouTube videos. I mean, like I say, I don't really care about making money or being popular. I just do this for fun. Even kind of now with this video, let's go back in the house. It kind of seems like I've been doing a lot of walking through my videos lately. I mean, that Arlo one, this one. But yeah, I'd have it out there, sit by the garden. And I'd love an old bus like that. That one kid that got that bus that turned it into a RV. It was a first-gen ICCE 200 with a 3800. That Noah guy, he has one of those. They made them from 2002 to 2004. And you know, I'm getting older now. And you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe get, because I've been, whoever of you people knows Anthony, back when he was alive, when he was my age, he used to watch buses. But our school, I don't really think, our school doesn't really need it right now. They have one and we're gonna, we still haven't asked my belly yet, but. If you live in Michigan, that's a school. If you live in some other state, uh, that's a school. A couple of my nieces and nephews go there. Hey, I'm not... <laughs> but anyway, but I think that'd be, you know, good. I mean, if I'd buy that, you know, that really would be my first vehicle. But like I say, I wouldn't drive it every day. I drive it, you know, every once in a while. But that'd be my first vehicle. And I, I love it. I mean, look. I mean, what other 
what other 16-year-old loves school buses more than I do? I don't think I even know one. But you know, like I say, if I got a, an old bus, I'd keep all the seats in it. I wouldn't turn it into an RV. And I'd love it, and that bus would be my best friend. And it depends on what it is. If I would have to get a bus, I would probably maybe try to avoid any Max Force DT IC. So the ICCE is made from 2005 to 2014. Which I mean, they aren't bad. I've rode them before. They're cool. But I've heard nothing but bad things about them. If I would have to get a bus, I would probably want an FS65, uh, according to Anthony. The 3126 and the C716 are better than the E900s. That's just his opinion, and I also heard that opinion from someone else. But, you know, if I'd get a bus like that, I don't really know. I'd hate to cover up how it would be yellow, but honestly, I don't really know what other color I'd want it to be. Depends on, up like what it is but like up here my camera's kind of blurry but like up here i'd probably put like what it is like a 3800 like if it's a bluebird 3800 i probably would just put my name up here and back here if, if, if like let's say it's a if it's a bluebird 3800 but if it's like an fs65 i'd put fs65 up here and then maybe my name back there that'd be cool and then maybe like on the side put like Whatever it is, like a 3800 or a FS65, because for me, because I'd want to own an old bus, I still have to finish my routes for today. Because if I would own an old bus like that, I would love it. And it to me, that's not just going to be turned into an RV or, you know, stuff like that. I keep the seats in it. I already told you that, but I like to repeat myself. I don't know why. I just do. my bed but you know I like looking into a mirror better because if you know I got an old bus like that I'd keep it on a little bus you know no RV no camper like that no a guy I know I've just said this but I like to repeat myself what else is there uh, I'm trying to think oh I talked to mom and like, like about the job thing, I kind of wanted to wash buses or, you know, I'm 16 now. I think Goodwill would be kind of cool. Need to work at too. I've always loved there. I mean, what, what could I do there? Uh, I could sort clothes, put things on the shelf, maybe clean, stuff like that. And let's say I bought an old FS65 or a 3800. I would probably be comfortable or wanting to pay around maybe five five grand or less for an old bus like that and if you ah, have to ask me i would probably be comfortable with around maybe 150k miles on her that's really all i gotta say i know this video wasn't really that great but i just kind of wanted to get it out there but i don't really like like talking like I don't know about this kind of stuff. Sometimes I get kind of nervous. But yeah, if anything ever comes up, I'll make another video about it or yeah. Sure, and sure, it's going to take a couple of years. Absolutely, yes, it's going to take a couple of years. And also, I just thought of a few things. And like I said, I was thinking about kind of wanting to get a PS4 for like the other room in case like someone comes over or something. 300 bucks. Yeah, well, it's not. I mean, yeah, no. Maybe I'll ask that for my birthday or something. But I just kind of want money. I mean, that would, you know, that would go toward the bus thing in the future. You know, let's say I usually get a little over 100 sometimes on my birthday. I mean, that, that would help. I mean, that's just a little bit from a few thousand, but hell, that helps a lot. I'm actually... I'm actually not sure how much I have right now, which actually we're going to a trip in Ohio to go to a bus place that I want to go to. And I'd like to get some emblems and stuff there. And they're not that expensive, but I will spend some money there. 
on bus stuff. And I'll make some videos about that too. And I'm very excited because some of my friends that went there, they got to drive. And we will get, I hope that we get many, many, many pictures. They've even got C2s. C2s. They've even got a couple superiors. I watched the video of this one guy. He went there and there was a kitty that lived there. He probably lived in them old buses and stuff. It was a pretty cute kitty. He called it and he petted it and he walked around and it followed him and it was pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching.